Well, we all know that the Sportster S is a great bike for zipping around town and running errands and going from place to place and that type of thing. But what about all day riding? Let's talk about that. Well, as you can see, I am on a 2021 Harley Davidson Sportster S. I bought this motorcycle back in October of last year. And so far it has been a fantastic motorcycle, but there are a few challenges. And one of those we're gonna talk about today. Hey everybody, my name is Ty and welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you joining me today. Well, as we start talking about the topic at hand, let's go ahead and make a couple of distinctions on the terms that we're gonna be using. And a couple of those are this. So we're talking about round town riding or all day riding versus touring. So there's a big difference there, isn't there? I mean, touring, you're talking about going out, maybe state to state, a couple of hundred miles, maybe a couple of thousand miles, who knows? And on an all day rod, maybe you'll get two or 300 miles and you're just cruising from place to place and back home at the end of the day. So when we're talking about that topic, that is what I am referring to. So there's a huge difference. Now, with me, I've been able to take this motorcycle out and about on a couple of all day rides. One in particular that I'm thinking of is we went to the, me and a buddy, we went to ride the, ride the Tale of the Dragon and the Cherahala Skyway. Now that was a fantastic ride and a lot of fun that day. But I'm not gonna lie to you, I was pretty stinking miserable at the end of the day. About halfway through and especially on the way back home, man, it was rough. It was really, really rough. Okay, let's talk about how this bike was designed, what this bike was designed to do, and what it was designed for, and what it was designed not to do, and what it was designed not for. That's a, gonna be a big, big distinction here. So this motorcycle, it, I think it was designed, it would have to be designed more for speed, maneuverability, getting out, ripping around, having fun. This bike was designed for all of those things over comfort. And there's a couple of reasons that I say that, and it's not that difficult to figure out. Because if you look at a touring motorcycle, like a Harley Davidson Bagger, Street Glide, Road Glide, those type of things, you know, you hear people call those motorcycles road sofas. And they call them that for a reason, because they are designed for long distance riding, and they are designed so that the rider is comfortable when he or she is out and about and on that motorcycle. This motorcycle, on the other hand, is not designed that way. All right, so what are some of the challenges for me when it comes to this motorcycle or riding this motorcycle for long distance? Well, number one, it's just not designed to do that, in all fairness, so let me just say that before. But I would have to say, you know, it would have to start with the seating posture. You are kind of leaned over a little bit on this motorcycle. It's not bad, but you are leaned over a little bit. I mean, I could sit up perfectly straight if I wanted to and, you know, stretch out my back and that type of thing. But the default riding posture, you are kind of leaned over a little bit. And um, that, that posture, after a couple of different hours, you know, gets a little taxing on the body. So is there anything on the Sportster S that can be done to mitigate the discomfort that I'm talking about? Or anything that you can do to add miles if you wanna take this motorcycle out on a long ride? Is there anything that can be done? To that, I'm going to say absolutely yes. There are a number of things, and some of them I have on this motorcycle, some of them I don't. So number one would have to be a different seat. Uh, there are a couple of different options out there. There may be more at the time of this video, but the two that I know of is the Harley Davidson Sundowner seat. And then there's also the Corbin seat. Corbin makes a seat for this motorcycle. I've heard good and bad things about both. You know, everybody's got their opinion on this motorcycle. I have the Harley Davidson Sundowner seat and based off of my riding that I've done on the stock seat, 
the sundowner seat as head and shoulders above the stock seat. So if you're thinking about making that investment, I really do think it's a wise choice and um, can probably add a little bit of time and miles to an all day ride for you. Another thing would have to be this windshield. When I ordered this windshield, I ordered it and I waited a long, a long time it seemed like, but it was worth it. Installation was easy. The functionality of it I think works well. It doesn't keep all the wind off of you. I wouldn't even say it keeps a lot of the wind off of you, but it definitely keeps some of the wind off of you. Specifically, it blocks it all in your chest. Uh, you're still taking a lot of the wind to the helmet and that type of thing. There's nothing you can do about that. You're just kind of out in the open on this motorcycle. It's just the way it is. But those are two things that I can think of that would definitely help. And then if I had to think of a third and a fourth even as I'm cruising along here, I've had some people tell me, you know, you put mid controls on that motorcycle and maybe you'll like the riding uh, position a little better. Well, that could be true. I did demo a Sportster S before I bought this one that had the mid-control kit on it. And I got to be honest with you guys, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like the way my feet felt. It was just uncomfortable and felt foreign to me all the way around. So with the forward controls, even though you can't stretch out much, you know, if you're going at freeway speeds, you can you could stretch out a little bit, but not a lot at all. But to me, it is much more comfortable than mid controls and then another thing that i can think of you know there's different seats um, different padded seats that can go on top of your motorcycle seat like wild ass makes a couple of different products i don't think they make anything specifically for the sports dress but you can customize it and get it going the way you want it and have it set the way you want it and that type of thing i don't think that would be a big deal i think hardly makes uh, something along those lines too some type of air cushion so there's some other factors that you can you know uh, present and purchase and put on your motorcycle that might help you get a little more time and distance out of the motorcycle so what are some of my final thoughts about all day riding on the sports dress it would have to be this if you are young you are not going to have any problem whatsoever being out and about on this motorcycle. If you're middle-aged or getting a little older like me, I'm uh, pushing 50, 49, going to be 50 soon, then, well, you just need to be prepared for a few aches and pains along the way. It's just the way it is, and you'll be fine. If you take some uh, precautions and, and to uh, uh, mitigate some of those factors that we talked about, you're going to be just fine. I'm going to be just fine. All in all, this is a fantastic motorcycle, and I really would recommend it to anyone who's considering buying one. If you have any questions or comments, please drop a comment below, and I will get back to you. I tell you what, I really do appreciate your time. If you would, please like and subscribe. I hope you guys have an excellent day, and we'll talk to you again soon.